China has 150 robotics companies today, and their own government is telling them that they're walking into a bubble. So is this good for the rest of the world, including America? Economic planners in Beijing just admitted that it seems like the robotic space is actually not innovating enough, but it's just creating repeated versions of the same thing, which has generated too many companies and not enough real innovation. It feels like dot-com bubble, but inside the robotic space. But the paradox is real. Bubbles are incredibly messy, and that's also where the biggest breakthroughs come from. The US learned this the hard way in the 90s because, for example, pet.com died, but Amazon survived and changed the world. And at the same time now, China is trying to manage its robotics wave. It's trying to standardize startups, limiting overlap and tightening the criteria to enter the space. It's going to be efficient, most probably. But innovation does not come from efficiency. It comes from chaos competition and founders trying to push the boundaries. And to us at Aoki, even looking at these 150 companies from Aoki's perspective, nobody's trying to solve shared perception and collaborative spatial computing. Without that, robots will be strong and expensive toys that cannot work together. So yes, China might have an incredible amount of volume, but the race is not won based on volume. It's based on innovation. And at Aoki, we believe it's also the ones that can figure out how to integrate collaborative spatial computing into their stack. If you want unfiltered opinions about robotics, follow us. Today, the robotics race is focusing on hardware. But at Aoki, we're asking ourselves, who is building the shared perception layer that they will all depend on? We are. Come and learn more about what we do.